Hey folks, uh, an account uh, update video. Uh, this will only be the second one I've done, I think. Um, I don't do them too often, so when I do them, I want to cover a whole bunch of crap at once. So um, some of the things I want to I want to do, hopefully by all by the end of this month, if I if I can. Um, I do have. Uh, first video of that convex knife that I want to finish, the one that looks like the F1 fall even there. Um, I just, it's been so hot to work outside on the deck to do that, or it's been pounding rain, so I'm kind of getting screwed either way. But I do want to get to that at least in the next two weeks. Um, I got a whole bunch more wild edible videos, and hopefully after it uh, stops raining today, I can knock a couple of those out. So hopefully I'll be posting those right after I froze this account update. I do want, I do got uh, three more, uh, yeah, three more of the tasks for the Bushcraft International Group. Um, and I know some other people are in the works, so hopefully we'll get a bunch of that loaded up. And nice thing, if you guys put it in the tags too, just for the 200-something the, the, uh, people in the group, if you put Bushcraft International, excuse me, Bushcraft International in the title and in the tags, when you watch one person's submittal video for that, a whole bunch of others come up and they relate it. So it's a good way to organize it in a way. So just make sure you guys keep doing that. It'll help out a lot. Uh, another project, as soon as I get the leather in, I want to do a my own sheath for my uh, Scandinavian forest axe. And this one's adequate. I just want something a little more, uh, a little more custom, a little more uh, trustworthy, I guess I could say. Um, I do want to do a full sheath that comes around the back. I want one that the axe slides into and something like an oversized buckle or something like that to make it look nice. So as soon as I get that in, um, I can start that project too. And on top of that, I want to do some more fire steel mounts with some more uh, natural materials than the ones I just did in my other video there. Uh, something like birch sapling with all these nice colors on it, which the camera probably can't pick up and more antler and things like that so I got that stuff coming up uh, I think that's it and uh, I did have a nice hike yesterday but there was no point in taking any video because it poured and it poured and it poured and the three of us were soaked to the bone I had to wrap all my camera gear inside of this inside of my uh, Maxpedition uh, Falcon pack because um, even it wasn't rainproof against that, so I ended up getting soaked to the bone, and I didn't bother taking the camera camera equipment out. So uh, definitely fun, though, going up the mountainside, getting poured on like that. Um, <laughs> if we knew it was going to happen, the storm rolled in out of nowhere. So if we maybe we were better prepared, uh, we could have got the tarp up, and maybe I could have done some video. But uh, there's always next time. So uh, that's it, guys, and uh, let me know what you think. And um, after all the requests I've had, I mean, I don't know how many PMs and then the comments and then, you know, the emails. Are you going to sell the fire seals? Are you going to sell the fire steels? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I never even thought about it. It just occurred to me to do them for myself and friends and things like that. I think I'm going to. I do have an eBay page, so I'll probably do them on that. So you'll need PayPal. Uh, so in the comments section... Let me know what kind of materials you're looking for. And if I see somebody mentioning, or a bunch of people mentioning something more than once, it's something for me to focus on so people can get a hold of it. And, you know, I do my best to keep the pricing down. You know, I can't buy in bulk fire steel like the, uh, the big guys can. But I can still get them pretty cheap. So I can keep the prices down. And, and shipping something like that, at least in the United States, and even to the, even to the U.K., wouldn't be a lot of money. Um, so keep that in mind, too. But let me know what you're looking for. And as I do them, it make it a little easier for me to sell them. And uh, I'll try to come up with some sort of fair price or something like that. But I appreciate everybody asking regardless. So thanks a lot, and I uh, hope you guys stay tuned in. And, uh, yeah, from here and there, I will be posting uh, what Ray Mears materials I have left uh, here and there. I'll do them like I've been doing them, call them the tidbits. Is, uh you know, the best parts of a show or something like that when he shows us something very interesting. So... Thanks a lot. Bye.